Hey folks, sorry to bother you yet again, but uh, I read something in this morning's paper, uh, Union Leader, and uh, I was thinking, yeah, you're moving in the right direction, we'll see where this goes. House Republican leader warns Obama over Libya. House Speaker John Boner I'm sorry, I got a real problem with someone called Boner. We had somebody in the state running for state house and his name was Dick Sweat. I, I, I had a problem with that one too. But anywho, Boner warned President Barack Obama Tuesday that he was skating on thin legal ice by keeping U.S. forces involved in Libya without the authorization of Congress. The letter from the Republican leader of the House threatened to turn lawmakers unease over the uh, Libyan conflict into a clash between Congress and the White House over constitutional powers. Boner accused Obama of a refusal to acknowledge and respect the role of Congress in military operations and a lack of clarity why the U.S. was still involved in Libya. He asked Obama to explain the legal grounds for the war by Friday, saying that by Sunday Obama would be in violation of the 1973 War Powers Resolution if nothing changed. The U.S. Constitution says that Congress declares war, while the President is commander-in-chief of the armed forces. The War Powers Resolution sought to resolve tensions in these roles. It was passed by Congress over, over a veto by President Richard Nixon. Uh, I thought that was admirable. A good start. I just was waiting to see where this would go, and without fail well, my buddy over in Ireland, Ray, had to send me a little link uh, from BBC News. Uh, White House, U.S. can act in Libya without Congress. President Barack Obama does not need congressional approval for the U.S. to continue its role in the NATO-led Libya mission, the White House has said. In a 32-page document, the White House has said the president already had legal authority to order forces in Libya. It goes on. I will leave a link again in the crotch bar. I'm waiting to see what Boner is going to do now. In my opinion, right there is an impeachable act. I don't think anybody's got the balls for it. Thanks, Ray, for the heads up, and, well, I found my old lighter. Peace out, all.